Well, you know the Rays, they're going to be playing here tonight, 7 o'clock, and they've made the announcement, of course, everybody knows that they're wanting to move to Ybor City over in Tampa. Like in most breakups, St. Pete is the one that hopes they'll come running back, but if they don't, the city says they're ready to move on. Plan A is what the city of St. Pete wanted. The 86 acres of land where Tropicana Field sits redeveloped with a brand new baseball stadium. Well, that's likely not happening because the Rays want to move to Ybor City in Tampa. City Council voted today to start working on Plan B, what to do with all of this land with no stadium. That that is the best site in Florida, in the state of Florida. And some have even said in the country. 86 acres of land up for the taking in an exploding, vibrant downtown. The city being very careful about what they want to go here. Something that drives jobs, think a research facility or a tech park. Would be a university research component. It is not far from the Innovation District. It is a stone's throw away from Johns Hopkins and, and USF. Mayor Kreisman says the raise moving to Tampa is not a done deal and could easily fall through with funding. At this point in time, there is still so many things that have to happen before any kind of a, a final decision is made. He says they've got a plan with funding ready to go if they do stay. However, if they don't, St. Pete will be just fine. Now, the renderings that you just saw there are from Plan A of this project with the City Council greenlighting Stage 2 of the plan. I will soon likely see some new renderings of what this skyline could look like without a ballpark. At Tropicana Field in downtown St. Pete, Dan Maddox, Fox 13 News.